All right, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Full Hot Cup of Coffee and Art in the Morning. <laughs> I'm Dee Dee. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I think I already said good morning to everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being here. we got quite a few people. It's uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time in the Atlanta area. And this is a live show, you stream. So if you're watching the recording, just know that this is a live show with a live chat with live people. <laughs> and so you'll hear me stop, ask, answer questions, maybe repeat myself because other people ask the same question that weren't here. They come in, they go out. So if you're watching the recording and you want to come over and join in the chat, it's always fun. Everybody's real friendly here. The mods usually stay in the corner. <laughs> Ah, I got great mods. Hey, Vicki. Uh, speaking of, Vicki and Eileen and Carrie uh, are my mods. And uh, so anyway, I thought I would do a couple different things. Uh, I was telling the girls before I hit record, and I say girls, it's mostly girls. Uh, every now and then we have, you know, jury on or uh, artistic biker or Ben or somebody pop in. But it's mostly girls, you know, uh, here in the, in the morning. So, uh... I, I, I'm working on redoing this side of my art room, art studio, space, whatever you want to call it. And I'm take, I took everything off the little wall. I only have a little bit, maybe three feet of wall space above some half shelves. Well, three quarters of the room. Anyway, so I took all that stuff down. What I'm going to do is I have tables going along this side of the room. And I've done a little quick flip around my room uh, a couple of times, so I'm not going to do that right now. But I have tables over on this side, so I'm going to get rid of those tables and put more of the bookshelves. I'm going to put three more, at least two, maybe three um, bookshelves over here. So I've been cleaning out, uh, cleaned all the stuff off the walls, took all the paintings and everything down. It was time. They were, you know, some of them were getting a little old for me to stare at. And um, then under one of the tables. Uh, I don't have room for all my art journals over here, so under one of the tables I have my portfolios and another three feet of art journals. Well, so I took all the art journals out and either deconstructed them, a lot of them were already deconstructed and just put into mini portfolios, handmade ones and cardboard ones and smaller ones, but I wanted to uh, sort them by size. I didn't even care about the dates. So when I do the flip, you're going to see a lot of them are not, uh, hey Julie, they're not in chronological order of any sort at all. They're all mixed up. I don't care about that. These are not dated journals where, you know, I did any kind of a progression, uh, one, one journal, uh, art journal on all backgrounds and one on all this or one on all that. Those journals are still in books on the shelf over here. I didn't touch those yet, although I may. So these journals are the three feet of um, journals that I had under the table that I just deconstructed them, restacked them. Some of them had, you know, a few spirals. I took them out of all the spirals, all the rings. And if y'all saw the picture I tweeted, I don't know that y'all be able to see. Well, I won't show it to you on camera because it'll flash out my light. Anyway, um, so now I have one... Let's say, I'd say at least two feet, two and a half feet of deconstructed journals. Now, when I say deconstructed, I didn't mean I've cut them up. But what I wanted to do is show you an example of what you can do with your journal pages. We all have tons of journal pages where we've just, you know, got extra paints that we work with. We do some collage. We do, now some of my pages are more finished than others. I didn't care. I put them all together. They're all just together, that, that section of journals. Like I said, I still have books of journals that are on the bookshelf. I haven't touched those yet. But this is the kind of thing that in, um, so on this half of the side, I don't know what we were doing. Maybe I just had this left over. This is a napkin. I, I don't know. This was on the back side of the, the well, I'm going to show you on the other side, which was a more completed piece. It's not completed. I don't know that there's very many actually fully completed art pieces in any of these journals. They were, um, they're, they're more experiments, playing, 
color testing, uh, little experiments we've done here on Ustream with a little bit of drawing. Not a lot of drawing. Now the art journals are separate from my sketchbooks and drawings. Though that's a separate uh, thing. But today we're just I'm going to just do a concentrate on my art journals, not sketchbooks and not drawings, although there might be a few of those in there. Okay, so anyway, um, this right here was one of the, and I want to keep this handy for focus purposes, uh, this is one of the kind of art journal pieces I'm talking about. Now, I don't know how if I'll need to zoom in when we, I start doing a flip, or this is, might just be a good angle. I think this might just be a perfect you know, to show, because I'm going to have to have some room to move, maneuver. But I wanted to show you what you can do. We always have things like this that have partially things done. All right, like I, I was experimenting with this little section here. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. This is probably something we did on Ustream. But, you know, we've got this little section up here and this little section here. So here's what you can do. Uh, and that's why I was a little late this morning, not, not past 9, but I mean, I would, I'm usually here by 8.30 to give a little chat. But, so what I did is I, I went downstairs and I have, I don't, I, my printer's nice, it's an Epson Artesian, but I can tell you what makes the difference in your printing, and that's your paper. You can have the nicest printer or the crappiest, pr crappiest printer, but if you have the right paper, okay, so I use Epson um uh, matte presentation paper it's you know and i wait for all these things to go on sale uh, i get staples coupons i get ink ink cartridge redemption points and cash back and all that because uh, uh, printer paper can be expensive so when you see it on sale get it okay so what i did is i took um about six or eight pictures of of this in different sections and then I reworked, well, I didn't rework it, I just printed them. I, I changed the color, but that's it. So I took a section here, I took one here, I took this, I took a picture here, I took a picture there, I took a picture here, and then I went down and printed them out. So I want you to see, I, got, I, I didn't have time to do, but I did two of each. I mean, they're just a two fit on one paper. And so here's what I did with this section right here. See that right there? With this right here, I did this. Okay? So this is what I mean by reworking, reusing your old artwork. So other than changing the color, this is exactly, and, and making it a little larger, of course, I zoomed in. But this is this, exactly that. Okay? So, and of course, Eileen's going to love it because she's a, a true digi artist anyway. But this, there's nothing changed about this except the color. Okay, I, I took the blue out. That was it. Other than that, it's the exact thing. But blown up. Yes, this is on the Epson matte presentation paper. Okay. It makes beautiful prints. Beautiful prints. It's the paper, Vicki. I'm telling y'all. It is the paper. <laughs> now, I, well, let me say this, too. It is one other thing. Although I, I've been schooled in this uh, uh, from, you know, maybe someone that knew what they were talking about, um, uh, I've always liked the printers with the six cartridge, well, the, you know, the, the two, the light and dark cyan, the um, two magentas, the yellow and the black, so six cartridges. Uh, because it's always been a better printer. It's, it's always been a better printer with the six cartridges compared to just the three cartridges, where you just have straight magenta, blue, or cyan, yellow, and, and the black. Okay. Uh, however, someone told me that that's not the case anymore. That, and I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't tried another type of printer with the presentation paper. I do have a real cheap Canon printer that Denise just got me for up here just to make copies on. It's not really a photo printer, and, but I am going to try and see what happens. It just has those three cartridge, well, four with black. It just has your basic cartridges. 
and it was like a $59 printer. So I'm going to try to run <coughs> my Epson matte, fo the matte pa presentation paper through that printer and see what kind of effect I get. Yes, Jean, but I, I, somebody told me that because of the improvement in technology and the inks and everything, that that's not the case anymore. I don't know. I, I, it, it, up until now, I've always got much better depth, especially because, you know, I print all my own photographs. <coughs> Y'all seen some of my nice photographs that I print on different paper, not just, you know, I don't just use matte presentation paper. I use uh, semi-gloss and just depending on the photos and all that. Um, so I'm going to do a test with the matte presentation paper in this cheaper um, three cartridge printer to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Me too, Vicki. I just haven't had a chance to do it. So what I wanted to talk about today was how you can use how you can use your uh, old art journal pages that may just be experiments, partially done, you know, you just played with some color and all that. And, to, and I wanted to show you that you can take and, and zoom in, and these were all just taken with my iPhone and sent to my print, you know, sent down to the uh, other downstairs. So here's the other one. This section right here, there's this little section right here, and you see how I drew in the little people. That same here, I drew in all those little people. So I drew in these little um, people in this little sort of landscape here that I just kind of practiced with. Well, here's what I turned it into. Again, it's just the color change and, and zoomed in so you can kind of see how you can reuse your artwork to make mini artworks. So. <laughs> Oh, Vicki, I won't repeat that, but that's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you can see, hey, Nikki, <coughs> you can see how you can take a bit of your artwork out of your journal. Oh, okay, Jean said that the Epson website uh, often has 15% off their papers and such. I usually get mine on sale at Staples. Because I have my ink cartridge rebate money, Jean, that's the reason why. But anyway, so I wanted you to see that you can take one of your, you know, art journal pieces that you may like certain elements of and reuse parts of those to make separate pieces of artwork. Okay. Hey, Mitzi. So, so try to do that. Just take a picture with whatever kind of you know. I mean, a, a, a camera phones now. Um, phone cameras are so you know good these days. I mean, you know, you can just take a picture, email it to yourself, or however your 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 software works. <coughs> and then play with, you could play with it in um, either your printer or your software on your computer or your laptop or whatever, or you can just play with the software. There's so many tons of photo apps out there now that you can uh, play with uh, the color and the settings before you send it to, you know, to the printer. Yes, yes, Vicki. And any, any of your basic photo software will do this. You can, with the basic software, you can clarify, you can sharpen, you can change the color, the um, contrast. There's, you know, all your basic settings. That's all I use for this because I wanted to keep it basic so that y'all could see that it doesn't take a lot to do this. I kept, this is all very, very, very basic settings. You're very basic. -y. I mean, even um, even your Instagram settings are. Uh, you, you could do this kind of thing, okay? Um, so I mean, very just basic photo editing things is what I mean. All right. So again, there's this section turned into this little piece, and then there's this section turned into 
whoops, sorry, I'm going to go, I got it backwards, let me set it there. Okay, so there's this section turned into that, and then this little section turned into this. So don't discount your old art or partially done art. I also zoomed in on other sections too, but I only had time to do this this morning before, um, you know, 9 o'clock. Okay, so when I'm showing you the different art journal flips, be thinking of your art journals. Every, all of us have some form of an art journal, um, old art journal parts and pieces that we like. So this is a way for you to reuse those art journal bits, if you will. Okay, all right, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to, let me just move this piece. Um, I did pull out, in my art journal, sorry, I'm going to probably be bumping the camera because I've got the stacks of stuff behind me. I think maybe that will keep the camera in flash. I did find a couple of the old, some old projects that we had done on, uh, on Ustream in here that were just in with, this is why I went through all of it. In, in that, in, under the table. Like I said, I've not gone through the, the journals on my shelves over here, which is probably three times more than what I already went through. But I'll get to it as I'm redoing the room. So we just did a little um, thing showing how you use your own stuff for your own reference. Here's where we did some water droplets on a leaf. Um, we did some different eyes out of... Um, Lizard scales, snake scales, plated crocodile scales. There's a frog eye, a snake eye, and a lizard eye. If y'all remember when we did this, probably a couple years ago. I don't remember. Uh, so we did, I found that in here. Here was, a, I think we were doing a raptor or something. And uh, maybe I need to finish this now with the Jurassic Park 2, 4, or whatever it is coming out. Uh, and again, some little sketches. Some just some little uh, testing. We did uh, you know, some little things with faces and lips and a little eye. Just some quick little sketches. These were all in there that I completely, you know, we for, I forgot about when we uh, I wanted to do some wood texture, showing some wood texture there. So again, these are just some things that I found in the sketch in my art journal. These these need to go back into the sketch section. I do try to keep my things organized, but because I've shifted things around a few times, a lot of my art journals were just piled up under the table. Well, they weren't piled. They were in a row. Um, but I hadn't been through them in a long time. So most of these things you might have seen in the last, you know, three, four, maybe even five years worth of streamage. And uh, so I just thought I would do a little flip. If y'all have any questions, hey, Moomy, put them in caps so I know you're talking to me. Let me take a sip of coffee. The other thing I wanted to talk about real quick, and I won't completely talk about it now because I still have to organize the names. But here's what we're going to do. I'll read the names that I've got so far. I think I have 21 names. And I have to recount to make sure how exactly how many people, you know, to have to do a double page spread. Um, to do the round robin little baby book. Okay, everybody, thank you all for emailing me. I'll tell you who we have and how I'm planning on doing this. These are the people involved. Miko, Mer and in no particular order. I just kind of wrote them down how we could squeeze them on here. Miko, Marilyn, Zandra, AJ, Cass, Mitz, Doreen. You, uh, Doreen's from YouTube, and she watches the show. And uh, her, she said that her friend watches you stream, and she that's how she found us. She can't be here like live. I guess she you know works during the day, so she asked very nicely if she could be a part of it. Uh, Nana J again, Nana J comes by here. She's you know we met her. I met her on YouTube first, and she stops by here when she has time. Stax, Lisa, Sherry Shabs, uh, Debonator, E T. Lilith, Kira, Kira, Carla. Her, I think her. She it's Kira, but it's Carla. And then Carrie, who said she would fill in if we needed somebody extra. Annabelle, Brenda Blue, Terry Lutz, and Angel Orla, and me and Debbie. Um, Debbie's, you know, Debbie uh, Boring's the one that sent the book. 
okay? So how I plan on doing this, I have to go through and, and remember, write down for myself where everybody's from. This is how, oh, yes, Miko. Yes, Miko. Hello. Did you have a question? Um, or are you just saying good morning? Miko. Okay. <laughs> Don't know if you had a question because I was reading. I wasn't looking at the chat. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think this would probably be the best. I think there's one, maybe two people in Australia. And what I thought I would do is send it to Australia first. I don't know if there's anybody here in the UK, but this is kind of my world route that I had kind of planned out. Let me just really quickly get a little. Is uh, Go down under to Aussie first. Then if there's any in the UK, then it's going to go to Canada, and then it's going to go to the USA. Now, I don't know who in, in what order yet, and if there's more than one, but I, this is how I'm going to work it, okay? I'm going to pick the first person in Australia, and I'm going to send it to that person. I'll let them know they will get in contact with because I'm not going to give anybody's addresses everybody's only going to have to be in contact with one person you're only going to have to exchange addresses with one person this way you don't have to know everybody's business I mean not that that matters I mean we're all you know but anyway so I, I what I'll do is I will get in contact with the first Australian girl and she will get in contact if there's another Australian girl. If there's not, she'll get in contact with the UK girl. Okay? They'll exchange addresses. She'll do that, the work on, in her two pages and then she'll send it to the next person. Then that person will email me. Okay? This is how I'm going to track it. That person will email me that they got the book and then I will give them the next person to contact okay they will get in touch with each other then when she sends it to the next person all right they'll email me when they get it and I'll give them the next person that way I'll be keeping track of where the book is at all times it won't be floating out there with 20 people and 20 names trying to figure out who do I mail it to Okay, Stax is in Netherlands. Okay, well then we'll go from uh, we'll go from uh, Australia, UK to Netherlands to Canada. How about that? Okay, we'll uh, we'll 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 get it in there. All right, and I, I like I said, who I'm going to try to get a most direct route as I can back to the states, um, sorta I guess. <laughs> anyway, but I want the farthest away first and work our way back. One of the reasons being, this is we're gonna. It's gonna be a, a, a true blessing if this makes it through four, five, six countries, and you know multiple states, and gets it back here. It, 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 it may or may not, and that's a chance we take. Well, since I'm already talking about it, I might as well finish now. Okay, so when you do your double page spread. You know, when you do your little baby altering, and it's not, don't, don't look at it. There's no embellishments, no paint, no collage, only pen, pencil, marker, whatever, you know, and make sure that's not sinking through. Don't use a Copic on this. It'll go right through. They're, they're thin. It's old. This book is from 1953. When you do your double page altering your babies, and don't, you don't have to make it complicated. It's just the idea to put glasses, a beard, and a mustache and mail it on if that's all you want to do. Make sure you sign. Make sure you sign and date the page somewhere here because you're going to have two pages. Your name. You don't put to, you know, uh, <laughs> I know, Vicki, it'll be, it'll be a risk to see if it gets around, you know, the world and back. Okay, so then what you're going to do is I will write the list of all the names of everybody, and once you d get it, just scratch your name out, put the date, or something like that. We're not writing notes and letters because we want to keep this thin. We want to keep it in one envelope. It's, you know, cost, you know, from down under, it'll cost a couple of dollars, but, you know, 
But that's another reason I want to try to keep it in each country. So if we keep all the Australian, you're, everybody in Australia is mailing it to each other. It's not going to go from Australia to Canada, the USA, back to Australia, then the Netherlands and Canada, back to the U.S. I'm going to keep it in countries. That way it can travel more um, gently, <laughs> I think. I, I mean, that's what I'm thinking, hopefully. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, each person, when they get the book, they contact me that they got the book. They email me, tell me they got the book, and then I'll give you the email of the next person on the list. Make sure when you email that person, you reference what you're talking about, the baby book on Dee Dee's Ustream or whatever. Don't just send a blanket email, here's my address. That person is not going to know who you are if you're using your, your screen name and all that. So keep that in mind when you're, you're you know, in contact with somebody else. In other words, Zandra may not know the debonator. So, or, you know, well, she's, I think, you know, the same country. But anyway, so you, you need to be clear in your email. I mean, some of this stuff is self-explanatory. And if you've ever done round robins before, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, say you don't know, you know, anything. I'm just trying to explain it succinctly for everybody. So that's the plan. Uh, one country at a time till it comes back to the U.S. Everybody's going to get it in the U.S. besides me and Deb, Debbie Boring, who sent us the book. I will be the last person to get the book. I will do a Ustream on it and then send it to Debbie. So actually, Debbie will be the last person because she'll be the keeper of the babies, okay? <laughs> so that's the plan for the little round robin. So I haven't gone through and found everybody's country yet. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I'm sending it out to the first Australian. And then I'll track it by them emailing me every time. Because to, to get the person next in line, you have to email me. All right, does that make sense? Do we have any questions on that before I move on? Okay. So hopefully, yes, to decorate the babies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fun little round robin with that old book that Debbie sent. I thought it would be fun just to send it around the world, you know, just, you know, even if you just put a mustache on it and signed it and moved on. It, it, the point is, is to get it through, you know, get it all the way around the world and back to Debbie. That, that's the, my main point. We all come up with a brand. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that was just a few of the little sketchy things that I found in the art journal that I, in my art journal stacks that shouldn't have been in there. But by going through literally every single piece of paper under that table, I have a small stack. I will, uh, I'm going to show you some and I'm not going to go through every single one because I don't have time or we don't have time. Okay, these are all eight and a half by 11s that had not a lot of stuff on them except maybe jelly plating. Um, these are all eight and a half by 11s folded in half. Okay, these are all eight and a half by 11s. That's actually from my driveway art. I have two or three pieces left from my driveway art from four years ago. And uh, all the rest I gave away. But anyway, I found a couple more. So all this, there's even some deli papers stuck in there. These were all 8.5 by 11s that really had nothing I wanted to work with. Nothing I wanted to photograph. Nothing I wanted to really do with except maybe use them in collage. Make a book cover or, book, or you know, some signatures. Or... Um, that sort of thing. There's, they're just plain, they're like, um, let me just pull one out. They're like this. Okay. There's nothing for me to photograph on here. I mean, I guess I really technically could. Okay. But these were all 8.5 by 11s that I, I uh, folded in half. And you can see that's what this section is. That's what this bundle is. All right. The next bundle, okay, I have two more bundles. Let me show you the bundles. I'm going to try not to bump the camera. And these are what I'm going to do to flip through. If we have time. All right, let's see. 
fun to give these to Nana. I'm trying to get them out from to pick them up. <laughs> And I'll do this sec this bundle neck. I mean, second. These are all larger than 12 by 12. They're 12 by 12, 12 by 14. These are about a foot thick of some. I can do something with these. And there's and even Barb's cats right there. This will go into a note. But this was in there. I couldn't find Barb's cat for the longest time. <laughs> Well, I found it, and he needs to go in with my fantasy animal portfolio, which is a total separate portfolio. Um, so he'll go back into that other portfolio. I probably won't have time to go through every portfolio today. I'm probably only going to go through these three, or these two big stacks. So there's about a foot of uh, art here. And then, but first, the first stack I want to go through is this one okay so this is probably I'm smashing it together <laughs> and it's it's a tight foot of, of eight and a half by eleven to about a little bit bigger than that maybe you know somewhere in between okay so this is what I'm gonna just do a flip through first I'm gonna just move this right here hopefully I can do this I, I haven't practiced this so we're going to see. So I'm, I don't want to necessarily talk a lot about each one, except maybe to say, oh, look, we could photograph this section. Again, if y'all are just coming in and missed this, well, thanks for stopping in, Mitzi. Um, I wanted to show how you can take a piece of your art journals, whether they're in the books or not. Okay, I took all these out of any books that they were in. If they were in a spiral, if they were, uh, I, I cut the spirals all off and all that. I spent like hours yesterday doing that. All right, so what I wanted to show you again was how you can take sections of your art and photograph it and then reprint it out to make little mini pieces of art. So you can see this section here is photographed, and all I did was uh, change the color. Of course, I zoomed in. So, again, you can, and there's so many things you can do. You can do so many things with these little bits of art. Okay, I just you did something very simple just to show you uh, a simplistic version of what you can do. Eileen, with her digi skills, could do uh, awesome stuff. Okay, but this is the kind of thing that uh, I, I, I purposefully wanted to show y'all what to do with your stacks of stuff. Okay? <laughs> yeah, Vicki. So if you have any questions, I'm going to try to keep up with chat. Uh, if you all remember this one, this was called, and Carrie, I think, named this one, um, Space, because uh, we had the Jetson, we had the Jetson guy in it. See, here, I'm already on piece number one, and I can't get past it. <laughs> uh, we're going to be here all day. Okay, so I can't remember. I have these written down, and, and they're also on my blog. But anyway, uh, Space Chickadee or something like that. But anyway, so we, uh, we started out with just this little piece of Jetson. And a, no, we started out, I drew the bird. I painted a bird. Then we made a wing, and the, we turned the wing into a Jetson. Um, little <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's George Jetson, but I forgot the name. We something chickadee. Anyway, so here's the little collage that we had done on a stream, and this, you know, it's, I don't, I just put the year. I don't put every single date. But you can see this is how we do the collage cards. We, um, you know, just do did little steps and did all kinds of. Anyway, uh, and if we have time after I show the the flip, then I want to maybe do some more collage. But so this is my collage style if you will this is my collage style all right but again again you could photograph that okay you could photograph that you could photograph this section 
you could photograph, you know, you can, you can use different sections and turn it into other pieces of art like we did these. Okay, I I'm, hope I'm zoomed in enough. Y'all just kind of keep me posted on that. <coughs> so I'm going to kind of flip through kind of fast here. Uh, and I know if you have a question, let me, I think I do need to zoom in one. It is kind of far for this stack. The other stack is bigger, so it will. Uh, okay, give it to, where's my, hang on, I got to get my card to focus here. Um, I forgot what's, oh, oh, by the time you ask me a question, I'm going to have already gone four or five pieces ahead. So uh, it's probably going to be hard for me to answer questions on individual pieces because of the lag. Because I'll be five pieces in and you're going to ask me a question about something and I'm not going to know what piece you're talking about. So just saying. All right. So um, some have stuff on the back. Some don't. This is one we did for Blade. Hang on, Spadeus. Hey, honey, I'm streaming. Can I call you back? Oh, I just got to tell you this real quick. I was watching the, the show um, uh, on YouTube, the one that we, when you were here like two months ago, and I was cracking up at you. I, I hadn't watched the show back, and I just happened to click over there. I said, oh, let me see. It. There's Denise. And y'all had just left and all that. So I said, let me just watch this one with Denise in it. Oh, my gosh. But he was going, what are you laughing at? Because I had my earbud in. I had my earbuds in. And he was going, what are you laughing at? I said, I'm, I'm laughing at Denise. <laughs> Anyway, it was fun. I just had to say how much I re-enjoyed that day last night. <laughs> okay, I'll call you back. Tell the girls you said hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, yeah, that was funny. I, I was re-watching that show with Denise in it, and uh, it, I was laughing at it all over again. If y'all miss that one, that's, it's, like, it's like from <clears throat> April? maybe two months ago it's the last one that's on YouTube I didn't put there's one on you stream that's not up but it's just the one that's on YouTube oh my gosh I was cracking up so this is where I did the uh, I did the blade family uh, in uh, steampunk <laughs> okay so and then these were just some this was my carved stamp. I gave the stamp away I think I gave it to butterfly Carol but I mystery Carol I don't remember but anyway, I still had a couple of, these were my hand-carved butterfly stamp. So I'm just going to kind of try to flip through here. Here's another one of the butterflies. Oh, I have a whole bunch of those. Because I did stamp them out in multiple colors, so I have a few of those. So you can see I have a bunch of those. Uh, like a lot. I, apparently a lot. <laughs> Alright, so let me kind of skip stack all those up. I'm going to try to go this way here. Alright, so here's just some kind of a little steampunky fish. Yeah, she's great, isn't she, Carrie? I still think one of the funniest things was when Denise looked at the wing nut book. Oh, uh, yeah, these aren't funny. <laughs> well, those are, you do have to be there for the wing nut book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, just bits of a bird. Um, this is, I think I did another sample. This looks like out of my, uh, the same style, out of my uh, face, my 30-second uh, Facebook. How to, and I mean book of faces, not Facebook, the app, you know, the program, but my Facebook, which I've shown before, but this is that style. I think I, I did, an, this from 2011, where I was working in the Facebook. Again, just a bird on a branch. These are all just kind of things. Some are going to be more done than others. Okay, so I'm going to have to get. I'm going to have to move a little quicker here. Uh, this one is like a, a seven or eight by eight. Again, all just different. Here's a Poe. But but look right here. Look how you know. Let me see about making a quick little viewfinder. Just so you can kind of get a quick. Let me find a quick sheet of black paper so you can see it really quick. Let's see. 
probably about maybe that big. Okay, let me one one moment, please. I'll do this real quick. So you could do this with your own art. Uh, do this. Make one of these little viewfinders with some black cardstock. Let me just tape that because it's going to flop if I don't. Uh, make one of these to use when you're going through your art journal. Whoop. When you're going through your art journals. Let me tape that right here. Have one of these handy, <clears throat> like this, to use while you're going through your art journal. So you can do this, like this. Okay? So you can kind of do this. It doesn't even have to be this big. You, know, you do want it big enough so that you can go lots of areas. But imagine just different areas like this. Okay? Hey, did I say hi to and hey, Jerry. Yes. <laughs> um, I've only been really kind of flipping here uh, just briefly. And again, if you are watching the recording, people come in and go out. So I do repeat myself sometimes. But what I'm showing, Jerry, is how you can take a something from your art journal, <clears throat> such as this, photograph different sections of it, and rework it into other pieces of art. Like from that to that, from that to that. So that's what I'm showing here. So if you take, oh, just make you a little, um, kind of like a little frame here, a little viewfinder. You can go on top and kind of find sections that you might want to photograph. This is a quick way before you start photographing everything. Okay, these are also pieces of other art that I have printed out. And I started putting them together in another collage, okay, with just uh, bits of photographs. See, like there's a bit of a photograph, see? All right, so that was in there. Again, this is another one of the same way. <clears throat> this was a collage I had done here. This was a, a, and you'll probably see this collage come up. No, I think this is in one of my desk journals. So what I did here, this is from one of my desk journals, collages. So, and it's a photograph. This is not a matte paper. This is just old, shiny photographic paper. This was from a painting. I believe it's Leonardo. I'm not sure. Anyway, so what I did is I just picked a section of that angel. And so what I did is I turned this piece of art upside down. And I made them like that. So that gives me a whole nother idea right there. Okay. So this is just using a couple of different photographs of the art to think about. This isn't necessarily going to be the, the piece, okay? But you can see the idea because this was a piece of my art in a journal that I just turned upside down. And it can go that way. It can go this way. It could go that way. You see? Okay, I'm talking too much. Okay, this is a piece of, um, <coughs> uh, I don't know if it was spackling through the stencil. I don't know, but it's, it's like textured. It's like dimensional, but it's also flexible. So I'm not sure what medium I used on that. But that's that, uh, one of the, I think, Crafter's Workshop. Those uh, stencils that are six by six and you can turn them all the way around and make a complete circle with them or just use you know two of them like this and like that you know all right so I have a bit of that here's another same stuff I don't remember what this stuff was okay thanks Vicki but there's that owl stencil so I got a couple of owls on this was all just in the the journal uh, my journal um, stuff Okay, so I'm going to have to go a little faster. <laughs> um, here's my address on here. Here's when I did a whole bunch of, um, when I did the animals on envelopes and was sending these out to people. Here's a little uh, rooster or a chicken. 
a rooster or a chicken? I don't remember. But anyway, it's the uh, drag the envelopes through the ink and then draw on top of them. And uh, so there's one of my little... Uh, <laughs> I, I did not flock it. No, it's not flocked. It's some kind of a medium that's textured and flexible. See, it's not cracking, so I know it's not the uh, I know it's not the spackle. It's some it's not cracking. <laughs> okay, so all right, here's where we did. Um, remember when I got the book, the seed catalog. And I was trying to show you, if you're into vegetables, uh, we have all these different projects in different journals, okay? This was where you would take just a card, piece of cardstock, and again, it could be any size. <laughs> no flocking. I gave my flock away. I gave all my flocking. If you don't know what flocking is, it's like a powdery substance. It's kind of like glitter, but flock. it's like uh, velvety. And you glue it on and it makes it look like if, if y'all had those flocked trees back in the 60s. <laughs> Hang on, guys. i got to turn my fans. It's blowing right in my eye here. Um, anyway, so this was from the seed catalog. And I was saying that this would work for multiple different uh, projects and themes. But if you like, uh, if you're a gardener and an artist, you could use the seed catalog for your reference material. You can draw your fruits, your vegetables, whatever you're growing, and then write all the information down about that particular, you know, you just make a, a like a little, um, it's not an herb, not an herbologist, I don't know, anyway kind of like just a record. I, I can't think of the word I'm, I'm trying to think of right now. But anyway, so and we did some different kind of lettering. And so we played with some carrots and some cabbage and just drew some different, you know, starters and things like that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. <clears throat> what does this say? Glance. Oh, this says glance. Again, practicing with some ink on a... Uh, uh, ink lettering, but look here. Where's my little viewfinder? You know, look. So yeah, I don't know what I was where we were going with this, but it was cute. Again, <laughs> you know. You just move your little viewfinder around. Some little drawing, a feather. I'm going to have to get crack a lack in here. Some are more completed than others. Like again, these were some, and I, I'm flashed out. Hang on, guys. Let me adjust my lighting. Uh, the sun just came out, so it's flashing my camera out now. I don't want to get too dark, but the, the camera's, there we go. That's better. Yeah, so yeah, and you can make it different size. You can make a small or have a couple different sizes depending on the, the size of the artwork you're going to do. You know, like, all right, let me make a quick small one here. Because it doesn't matter when you, when you photograph it and you print it, you can do whatever you want, you know? Okay, so you can make a smaller one too. So I could do something like this. You just move it around your page. Move it around your page. Or a smaller one. There's just no telling what you might find. So try that, okay? Seriously, I mean, I have hundreds, probably thousands. We we gotta get cracking here. <clears throat> it doesn't even have to be the uh, obvious focal point. Okay, just move your viewfinder, and I'm not gonna have time to do it on each one, but you know, it's fun. <laughs> If I find something I really want to stop on and, and do something with. So these are all partially done. 
But these are done on a. Uh, some are on cardstock. Well, these are all pretty much all on cardstock of different colors. But they're just, they're not, and none of these are finished. None of these that I'm showing you right here, anyway, are finished. They're all different um, they're in various stages. But we, they're different things that we've done on, there's a napkin right there that we've done on shows over the years. Thanks, Eileen. There's Mona, my muse. This is about this is a, this is probably the most doodling I've ever done in one sitting. Was all this because I'm not a doodler, but uh, I just wanted to doodle that day, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna see. You know. I tried to get them all by size. That was the other thing, too. I did try to sort these. Like, these are the smaller ones working up to the larger ones. All right. I'm going to move that down so it's not bumping in the computer. This is that stencil with some more, some kind of gold. Oh, this was the gold paste. I don't remember, but that's that gold paste. This is on a piece of board. And then again, randomly, this needs to go with the cat, with the animal sketches. This was done in 2012. Again, using the drag through the ink, drag your paper through the ink, you know, smack and drag, all right? And then do an animal on top of it, or a person, or whatever. So this is just one that we did on top. But again, you know, you can do, you know, let's do the small one here. See? You can use different bits. Okay, let me pull that out. Put that with Barb's cat. And then there's just kind of things like this. Oh, and then there's a dog on the back. <laughs> we did this on stream, I remember. This is from 2012. Uh, I'll, put, I'll, put the, I'll pull the animals as I see them bit of a collage and just some different, you know, um, but think about, you know, what you could do with different things. Look, there's a whole little, there's a little mountain scene. You know, this could be a road, a, ri a, ri uh, blah, 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 <laughs> a lake, you know, some mountains right there. You could just continue the development of this section. See? <laughs> See what I'm talking about though? How you can isolate different bits and you'll see, look, I see a tree. Tree, clouds, maybe a road, maybe a bridge, you know, one of those tunnel bridges or a tunnel. So, but you wouldn't see that if you didn't do this. Maybe you would, but would you see that as a tree right there with clouds? You see? So that's the benefit of doing this kind of thing with the little the viewfinders. You know, some are more nothing. We did a little, some eyes. We drew some eyes one day. But that, even that, if I photograph just that eye or something like that, that, you know, it's kind of cool just by itself. See? Another cat. A big flower on the back, glue. These are, see, it's all just partially glued, and I think we played with the idea of, what, of following a line or something. They're not, they're just, they're not, these are journal, art journal experiments for the most part. You know, unfinished collages. Um, so take your little viewfinder and go find something. <laughs> Go find something in your viewfinder. There's a peacock, a piece of a tree, more smack and drag, a big flower, all different bits of collage. And you all know that you know this is usually how I start my collage, my fantasy, mixed media collages with just some bits. And if we have time when I get through all these, I want to do a separate show today with uh, doing some more art cards because I'm completely out of art cards. 
to give away. I have tons of unfinished ones, but um, again, here, let's take, you know. So just take your little viewfinder and go around. This was a double page spread in, a, in an art journal, because uh, you can tell by, you know, how uh, they go together there. Again, see these two right here. I'm just going to kind of flip. Some of them probably go together. But I deconstructed them all. See how I tore them out? I'm just doing this so that y'all get inspired to pull out your art journals and uh, isolate areas. Look right there. Isn't that cool right there? What time? D what time what? I'm sorry, I missed something on the time, Jerry. You'll have to look right there. I like that. Right there. With that red line right there. Say. I'm going to have to get crack a lack in here, even though I'm, I'm enjoying it myself. Let me, this one, this page is getting in my way. My sample there. But I want something there for the camera to catch the color. There we go. Again, this was just some piece of collage and just drew some eyes on there. I think we were showing how you connect different pieces of collage, but I don't remember. But right there. Again, pieces of collage and paint. I see landscapes in this one. So uh, what I'm showing you is how you can reuse your art. Reuse your art. Re photograph it and, and like we did on the one I sample up there. Oh, this is where we did a um, did a thing on uh, Pennsylvania, the history of Pennsylvania. I forgot why we did this. I think something about using reference material or something. Um, how the how the Pennsylvania got started with the birthday quilt. This was from an old book. That's what it was. We came across an old book with a story about um, uh, William. I think this is William Penn and the uh, history of the pen. It was something to do with the pen as well, not just his name. But anyway, I'm not going to read it right now, but yeah, there's the history of Pennsylvania and the birthday quill taken. So this basically was the story taken out of the children's book, and we did an art page with the history of Pennsylvania. <laughs> you live in Pennsylvania, Jerry? Well, there, that's the story of Pennsylvania. And so we did like compass stencils and other stencils and use the parts of the story to turn it into an art journal page. So. I'm going to kind of breeze through. I need to kind of move the camera down one tiny bit because there we go so again
drew, uh, I don't think, I don't know, maybe it was Leonardo. Did a sketch from a Leonardo book. Okay, again, let me cover up my address here. Another animal drawing. And then this is where that address would go. Something about a bird, uh, don't let a bird nest in your hair, something like that. Put a little uh, baby in the watch, like a um, being born into time there. Let's see, let me stop and look at chat. Thanks, Vicki, Carrie, Eileen, for modding. So, do a little face peeking out from behind there. Could go this way or this way. Could go this way. Always, when you're doing something like this, too, turn it, you know, and I tell you that when you're doing collage, when you're uh, to turn it all different ways. Don't just rely on one view. I mean, that could be a part of a hill, all kinds of things. But, you know, turn your work all different ways. Another part of partially done collage. These two, I think, went together. And you can see, see, they're not done. Y'all know how I do the blendy and all that? So it's just partially done. These are all just art journal play pages. Hanging in the corner. <laughs> Playing pool by the bar. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you girls are so funny. <laughs> well, I hope this has given you some ideas, you know, what you can do with your art journals. I'm just quickly picking up the little viewfinder and just doing this just so y'all can kind of see. But again, go all different ways. There's a whole, like, be a whole little landscape in that old Egyptian, I think it's an Egyptian frieze. But I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think this one we took a flower and a waterfall and part of a glacier or something and turned it into a big flower. But it could be lots of things. It could go upside down, right side up. Um, probably not stacks. I might pick, I might do this with it, like I showed you here, and taking the uh, photograph, I mean, take photographing sections and turning them in to other things. That's my, that's why I'm trying to show you how to reuse your art journal pages. Will I ever go back and finish any of these? Maybe. I saw one or two that would interest me to go back and do, but probably not. These are more experiments, different things that we've done on, sh on the show. This one might be fun to finish, but probably not. You know? But I could see a little elf sitting under that tree, under these plants that look like trees. And shells and butterflies, faces on some. I'm going to have to go a little faster because there's, there's hundreds. I'll move this stack off the table here in a minute so I can go on to the next one.
And here's one on uh, wax paper. We've experimented with something on wax paper. Most of these kind of things are done on stream. Here's one of my hand carved stamps. Another. The other half of that. Other half of this one. So you can see some of these work two pages. It's an owl we drew. Elephant. This is after dragging it through the ink. Oh, let me put the animals over there. I said I was going to do that. rain cloud. That would be a great, see I could already see the rain coming out. I hope you're getting some inspiration and some ideas. And we'll try some of this. Another one of my hand carved stamps. Another lion. Do the drug thing. There's a, my hand carved B stamp. This was my uh, hand carved uh, gear wheel. Mouse. I'm pulling the animals out when I come across them. Hope the lighting is okay, guys, because I know it's going light to dark and flashing all different ways, but this, um, not a wrench, but a, maybe it's a wrench. I don't remember what kind of tool it was, but it looked like a bird. Look, look how that tool looked like a bird head. You have to make journal pages to do this. But look, none of this, it's all just experimental. And, you know, I mean, I just thought that looked like a bird head, so we glued it on there. I mean, you know. <laughs> Again, let me, uh, oh, there's a puffin. We did that. We did this dog. We did him on stream. All these are done with dragging your paper through the ink first and then picking, you know, doing an animal on top of it. Okay, so like here. Look, a little person crossing a bridge. Did this girl here in collage. Giant, that's a fork and a flower and a something there. It's a door. Okay, just whatever. It's like collections of your art journal, your glue books, your whatever journals, whatever you want to call them. Mixed media, glue books, you, I mean, you got a little bit of everything in these kind of journals. I'm going kind of fast. I have to. We'll never get through. These two went together. If you all have any questions, put them in caps. I try to glance up at chat every now and then. See, look, this is all we've gone through so far. That's it. 
That's all we've done so far. So I'm going to move this off the table so because it's going to start getting up into the computer. I have my laptop up on a pantry rack so it's off my table. It's less likely to get paint splatters and it's easier for me to read direct sight. You know, it's like my the vision of my chat is straight across from me when it's uh, raised up. If there's, there's two pages together, I'm trying to kind of put them together. Uh, but otherwise, like this one doesn't go with that one. There's Mona in there. Or a smaller one. Look, there's a house in the snow. It's a Japanese pagoda house. I mean, I don't know what it is really, but, and that looks like a wave. There's a wave right there. So I'm seeing tons of stuff in this one. Sandy Chick, anybody else I miss? Thanks everybody for being here. If I miss saying, hey Barb, who else popped in? Robin? Hey Deb. Deb, at the beginning of the show today I talked about um, the baby book. Anybody else that's coming in um, that is signed up to be in the, you know, one of the baby book round, Robin? I talked about at the beginning of the show. Okay, here's another one. These two, I think, I'm going to pull these two out for later. Um, and give y'all some more uh, ideas. If you're just joining us, again, let me quickly pull this up. This is how I'm showing you how to take some of your old art journal pages and photographing sections to reuse to make other art pieces in and of themselves. Okay. All right. So this one right here. I'm really liking for some more ideas. I can see a lot of potential in this baby. A lot of fantasy worlds in this baby. <laughs> Make sure you go back, you do forward and back. But because it's so easy to photograph our stuff anymore, it's so easy. It's so easy to turn these kind of art journal pages into new works of art. Okay, so I'm going to pull those two to the side for that for photographic purposes. Again, okay, these are all leaves that I just drew. I made it like a little uh, doodly frame there. Here's a couple that I did photograph close-ups of my art, okay? These are on larger pieces, but these are photographs of other pieces. They might be duplicates. Close-ups, kind of like what I did this morning for you. These are like older ones. Well, I photographed different sections. And you can even break this down even more. Okay. Uh, here's a uh, piece. I can't remember if it went this way. No, it went this way. No, it went this way. All different. Oh, 
collage starters, mixed media. Look, I see a girl in there. See her peeking out? There's her eyes. Little hat, little flower headpiece peeking out. There's a little moon up there, a little need some stars down here, maybe some clouds. And do a couple sizes. That's why I'm showing you different sizes. Okay. Again. different ways. Okay, there's a city right there. Right there's a little city. A scroll. You can have some stars and planets. Yeah, but you wouldn't have. Well, that's why you have to use a view, a little viewfinder. That's that's why I'm doing this, you know, to show you, Vicky, silly girl. Some of these are upside down. Here we go. Let's do a bigger one right there. And now, granted, they're not finished. Like this could be blended in. This could, you know. Right there, whole little world right there. And then this one has, I've used this one before too. This is my fish. I've used this one on, on occasion. I've made this one um, uh, something like keep, what was it? Keep on flying or something like that. But I did fish in, in the coral, made it look like planets. It looked like you can't tell if it's underwater, in space. Is this an ocean or is that space? So I did this one purposefully like this and then have a little bird right there. So it's like you've got multiple ideas going on there. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. Love, love this one. I think I'll pull this out just because I love it so much. <laughs> I forgot about it. Okay, again. These two went together. This one and this one goes together. That was a double page spread. We did this one on we did this one on Ustream. <laughs> I like this one too. I might rephotograph that one. Yeah, I like the fishy one too. And this one I photographed too in different sections. So you can kind of see, to me they look like owls. But they're pieces of doors and door knockers. But I made it into like using the watch part to make it like a little arch thing there. This is one of the more finished ones. Okay. Again, this one's one of the more finished ones too. This was a double page spread. Right there. Mixed media. Yeah, it was cold there, AJ. Mm 
This is a seahorse. It looks like a dragon. We actually did make him into a dragon on some other piece. All different kinds of... We're going to see these are collages that I would turn into those worlds. Like the, you know, the, this one right here. This kind of thing. You could turn this into... It's, it's, it's figuring out what you want to block out what you want to keep, what you want to paint, what you want to turn it into. But this started just like this, this kind of thing. Let me move my viewfinder so I don't flip them up into the nether world. Okay, like here. This one was sort of finished too. I, I had a plan for this. I don't remember what it was, but uh, these two went together. A double page spread. Not done. It's not painted out. Just lots of that. Here's this is another good example here. different things in there. I know y'all can see things in there, right? Tell me you can. <laughs> I can see 20 things. Just look at, look at that. Okay. Well, these two somehow, how do these go together? I don't remember. Maybe that way. But again, you know, Just stop it on every now and then to do a little I'm I shouldn't be doing this I'm licking my thumb <laughs> then, so I can separate these pages <laughs> look what I'm licking I'm I'm licking every kind of dilutions <laughs> I think I'll have a sip of coffee right about now. <laughs> I gotta stop licking my finger to turn the pages. <laughs> nah. Right here, I'm standing on a mountain looking down into, like, kind of like if you would look down the Grand Canyon. See that perspective? That's the other side of the mountain, and I'm standing on this one, and I'm looking straight down. You see that? Again, this one has that stuff on it, that 
whatever kind of flexible uh, stuff through the stencil. One, two, one. <laughs> Elevated dilutions levels, yeah. This is another one I really liked. Went through a bird phase. Got lots of birds. Well, I still like birds on things because it's a good, uh, it's a good symbol. I like birds. And some more have a you know more a full theme, and some have more smaller themes, depending on how much I paint out. I put him on that little hill. Clouds and all that would be painted in. Just don't have time to do thousands of them. How do I store? Well, that's why I'm saying how I pulled these out. I had them. I have them stacked up under a table, Vicky. Stacked up like straight up, you know, like this. Under a, under a three feet of it, <laughs> under a three foot table. And this is not including my journals that are still in books on a shelf. But because I'm redoing that side of my room and putting more bookcases and eliminating the tables along this wall that have smaller shelves on top of it, and then I've been storing all this under those tables. Well, I'm going to put shelves up, so I wanted to go through all this artwork that was on the floor and this isn't even including my portfolios and sketchbooks this is just art journal pages uh, and go through them so that when I get my shelves up I'll have a better um, this over. better system for storing these yeah they're stacked up yeah. Well, the tall ones that are like uh, maybe 17 inches, they're on their side. And I haven't got, these are just the 8.5 by 11. I haven't got to those big ones yet. I have that stack. I showed it at the beginning. I'll, if I get time, we'll go through that big stack as well. <laughs> if we get time. Here's a little owl with some little doodles on it. He's an apple core. Just a little bit of doodling, not too much. This one I, I redid um, my big, um, the big, uh, not the big, not this book, not this book, but the smaller one, the everyday, the little black one that's about that thick. I started drawing it and I turned it into an ink drawing and book instead of just mixed stuff in there. I wanted it all ink, so I did tear this out. But here I hand drew um, a bunch of the things that I'm in, you know, in YouTube, Ustream, AOL, Twitter, Pinterest, Google. These are all just little hand-drawn things that I just played with there. These are some of my cutouts, you know. There's another one. This is another good one to show for a different ways. be a tunnel, two tunnels, caves, that could be stars looking up through trees, up into the sky. Now here's a couple of, these are some of the jelly prints I, that I really liked for collage type thing. So these are some of the jelly prints we played with here. They're just in a little section. 
These are some of the jelly prints we've done. I really like that one. Yes, the icons of social media. You like those, Vicki? <laughs> Again, these are all jelly plates. We're done. Just have a little stack of them there. I think that's all those I have right now. There may be more in there, but that's that stack. Again. Some different little... This came, I guess, out of a glue book thing. Some uh, old advertisements, jelly plate, folder. This is a file folder cut up. Jelly plate, jelly plate. Those are jelly plates. Another piece. This looks like this other half of that other piece. I call. Oh, I call this one the birth of time. It was written on the back. That's how I know. <laughs> Again, this is a piece of wood on a door. But look, it, to me it looks like a planet. Stuff. The door, a lionfish. More undersea collage starters. And this is how all my collage collages start. From the two by two tiny ones. I'll show you the few I have left because I've given almost all of them away. I do have a few of the tiny ones. Well, I think it's maybe one and a half. Or how big are these? Let me get my ruler. I forget what size these are. Yeah, they're two. Little two by two. All my collages start the same way. Okay? All my collages start the same way. Like this. These started the same way. Little mixed media collages. It's just that these are smaller. Now, the ones I send out to you guys are three by four. Or, well, sometimes they're ATC, two and a half by three and a half. But with three by fours, I have a little bit more real estate. But these are all two by two. Hey, Colleen. Anybody else popping in? So, yeah, so you can kind of see it's all painted. All right, so let me put those back under the rubber band. But they all start the same way, like that. But just, you know, take your viewfinder if you want to isolate some areas to work with. Okay. The stack's getting, this, this stack's getting smaller. Remember, now these are not my, the more finished ones that I have are more in my desk journals. And those are the journals that I keep sitting on my desk, like these, that have more finished, you know, kind of work in them. Um, let's see. Like, you know, these are more finished things. And these, these kind of things sit on my desk. I'm not even touching all the books that are in books. Okay, that, these are, I'm not taking apart. Now, if there's something in there I like, I could photograph it, or I might even tear a page out. But, you know, when they're in this kind of book, I usually keep them in the book. The stuff that I'm flipping through now is just loose pages. They're not, they're not, the, uh, they're not in the journals. If they were in a journal, like a spiral bound or something, I took them all out. I deconstructed them because they're not anything finished for the most part. Like I said, there's a few in here that are more finished. But these are more like our, you know, my experiments, my uh, collage starters and things here on Ustream to show you all how I work. But it's all the same. I work exactly the same on all my collages. 
when I start with a blank page. Now, sometimes I start with, um, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a, a ink dragged in the ink. Um, if you have a moment, show my Dilusions journal. Okay, Eileen, I will. Yeah, I got, <laughs> see, these two journals, too. These are my other two Dilution journals that I'm working on. This is the newer one, and what I did with this one is I smacked and dragged ink on the backs of, uh, on every single page, okay? Every one of these pages I just took, I forgot how long it took, it's about 30, 45 minutes, I did it on Ustream, and I, I smacked and dragged every single page here with Dilution's ink. Then I also have this one that I have not yet to finish. And this one is all more space fantasy journal. And again, it's all done the same way. Let me just do a, I know I flipped through this one a zillion times. These are also all varnished. They all have a gloss varnish on. They do not stick with the ceram coat varnish. But you can see these are all completed collages. So if, the, but they all started just like this. This is how the ones that I'm flipping through now started. Uh, and, then they, and then I've turned them into these. Okay. So this, I'm just doing it real quick here because I want to keep moving. It sounds crunchy, but they're not sticking. They're just right there in the center. You can just hear it kind of, but they're not sticking at all. So I eventually do want to finish this one. It's really come, you know, it's come a long way. This one I actually turned into my, um, I had this as a, my phone, uh, my old phone, uh, you know, uh, you know, the cut screen saver. I had that as my screen saver. So again, you know, you can, I could always photograph any of this and use parts. Save. So I'm just doing a kind of real quick here. Now I got a couple here. This one, yeah, that one's varnished. These now the rest of these are not done. These are not done. So they sound a little sticky, but they're not actually sticking. It's just like right in the crease. And they're not actually pulling anything. Oh, here's where we are doing a dragon. We're making a dragon out of one of those seahorses. And then the rest is all starter started pages, and they're not done. So that this one and the dilutions, so I'm not sure which one you were meaning, Eileen. But this one here is all the with di just dilutions ink. Let's see if I can find something. Well, here we did this guy. <laughs> It's all Dilutions ink in the background. Let's see. See, it's just all bits of, uh, it's all Dilutions ink sprayed as starters. Let's see. I'm just trying to find something that's kind of farther along. Nothing's really a lot done in this one. But anyway, every page has Dilutions ink on it. So there's those two as well. Like I said, what I'm showing y'all today is all loose journal pages. You know, very little of it is kind of finished. But I just want you to see, again, the things you can do with bits. of your collage, big or small. Okay. Right. She went with this, maybe, I don't remember. Egyptian type thing going on there. But all the collages, they, they start the same way. And like I said, this part, um, 
after we finish the, the flip through, I'm going to save this one and then we'll do some art, some art cards. <laughs> Go back and watch the splat and drag one, Deb. Yeah. Okay, so again. Just move your little viewfinder around. You'll find all kinds of stories in your own art. So, painted the areas there, there. different ways. Yes, gloss ceram coat, indoor outdoor. It, I, that's exactly right, Vicky. And here's another one, adding some water and different things to it. But you can isolate different areas. Dilutions ink. Started drawing a tree there. But you just don't you don't know that you can see something in your in the area unless you do this. See once you do this, and remember all you have to do is just photograph a section, crop it, and again I'll show you this one more time where I took this piece and picked out the parts that I liked. I like this section here and this section there. So what I did is, let me put them next to it again, isolated those, cropped them out, changed the color, and then this little piece of art came from that. This came from that. And that's what I'm trying to show you with the viewfinder is if you take a viewfinder, it helps you to isolate different little areas that can be photographed and turned into little pieces of art. Okay. And I, I'm using a couple different sizes just so y'all can see. Just all kinds of paint and collage stuff going on here. I think I did this one as a reflection so it could go either way. Sometimes I'll do, um, not very often, but every now and then I'll do a painting that works both ways. I think that's what I had in mind for this one. But again, let's just kind of...
little uh, zetiology something there. And this was the back of some uh, one of the journals. I kept these are real hard back journals, and it's good to like keep the when I'm stack standing them up and stacking them to have some of the heavy cardboard helps keep them stacked. Okay, so again, here's some more. I think these are some bits of uh, uh, jelly plating. Yes, I, I, it's at the beginning, Deb, I recorded it at the beginning of this show, talking about the baby uh, round robin book. It's going to start in Australia, go to UK, Netherlands, Canada, and back to the United States. Okay, some more. Again, this looks like one of the five second faces from the five second book, 10, 20 second, however long it took, not long when we draw the faces real quick in the Facebook. And where's my Facebook? I was going to show you that. But I won't go through it. I'll just... So the Facebook, I've gone through this before. It's a handmade book with watercolor paper and it's quick faces. How to do faces literally in five, ten seconds. So I won't go through it now. I've done a flip through this before. Y'all probably have seen it a bunch of times. But anyway, that's the face. It's the Facebook. We'll do it another time if y'all haven't seen it. Or there should be a recording on it. I don't know if it's got Facebook in the title. Because it's not Facebook. It's Faces Book. <laughs> okay, so we're getting down. We're moving down this smaller sizes. These are the smaller size um, pieces. But again, even paint scrapings, okay? Painted, scraped paintings, leftover paint. You know, when you got paint in your palette and you got leftover paint and you just scrape it with a credit card, you know? An old ca credit card, you know, whatever kind of, you know, gift card, whatever. Well, look at it now, look. There are all kinds of landscapes in there. <laughs> You like the Facebook, Julie? <laughs> so, you see, this is just a bunch of scraped painting on paint. Scraped. It's like this, you know, with the card. Leftover paint. See a whole waterfall scene in here. Oh, I licked my finger again. Try not to do that. But look, sky, look at that. Sun over the horizon. All kinds of things. Desert, look, think of those uh, Utah. Red Rock, Utah things, and a storm. There's a storm right there. See? Good, CB Lisha. Thanks, Vicki. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. You see how that could be a nice little piece right there? When I get time, I'll try to photograph more of them for you and, and show you the actual piece and what I did with it, you know? 
but there's just so much you can do with your own little bits of art. And even paint scrapings, for goodness sake. You know, just take your time to, with your viewfinder. I mean, just a few pieces of grass in that would be nice. So don't just look at your big piece here. Take your viewfinder to it. Okay. And turn it. Turn it all different ways. Don't just go, one, you know, turn it upside down, right side up. Look right there. I see that little red dot right there. It looks like a See? Just that one little bit right there. Just by putting it in a viewfinder. And turn them all different ways. See, like this one's more done than some of the others. But again, you can isolate areas. See how much you can get out of one little picture? <laughs> even if you're just a paint scraper, even if you just scrape paint, you can get so much out of that. You know? All kinds of landscapes and all kinds of things in there. Oh, I don't lose my. Again, and Eileen with her digi skills, if she just paint, scrapes some paint on a picture with two or three colors, she'd have a whole world to, to play digi with. She'd have a whole digi world. Or any of you girls that do a lot of digi work. You know? See? I'm not a digi artist. I mean, I can, you know, crop pictures and change the colors and, you know, a few things. But I'm not, uh, like, proficient in it like Eileen. I've played with a few, you know, the apps that you can get where with your, play with, with your stylus and stuff like that. But I just don't have time to really learn it because I do all this, you know. So. I know, they make great backgrounds, don't they, Brenda? This, to me, looked like the bow of a boat with the pen being the, you know, the, the, using the boat bow to, well, anyway, you can see. Just a little everything. We're getting there. I'm going to have to move this big stack off of here. And, uh, Here's where I use one of my B stamps on another piece of art 
and then I just tore that out, glued it on here. So it's kind of like a little bit of a collage. But there's a lot in here too. Again, hope y'all are getting some inspiration. The lightning bolt, lightning bolt. This would be a good one to do some photograph samples out of. I think I'll pull that one to do some samples out of. Again, no, I don't do that kind of art, uh, Marilyn really you know that's just not what I do my how I make my money is commission work like uh, portraits pets and people but you know I'm just saying you can do little pieces of art like this too I mean you know I just you have to I guess it just depends on how much time you have. You have to, for me, I'll, I'll say for me. I, I don't want to make it a blanket statement. If you want to be good, if I want to be good at something and make a living at it, like pet portraits, um, which I, I stopped doing for quite a while when I started you streaming and doing a lot of other kind of mixed media. Now, I've always done collage in different forms. Um, like you know in art journals but I, I'm more of a you know r like drawn realism you know uh, I, I like doing this kind of stuff it's it's my fantasies you know that I like to uh, do in collage and mixed media but it's not really something I pursued as making money with because I make money doing portraits which take a long time I mean you know that takes up a lot of time and so if you want to be good at something you have to have at least one focus you gotta have a focus you know I mean I'm not saying I can't ever do this or or you know um, and you can see how much time I do spend on this stuff but not every piece is finished either but I'm not really trying to sell this the collage and jelly prints and journals, mostly for my own personal use. I mean, I've done a few pieces that I've sold, um, but for commission, you know, and commissions, you know, some will say, well, I want a kind of a, you know, this kind of thing or that. But most of my, my uh, commission work is portraiture. Okay. Uh, now, I do this kind of stuff and make art cards for you guys, you know. I, I mean, I, I, I enjoy it. But I just don't really pursue it from a monetary point of view. Okay, is what I mean. Not that I, not that I couldn't or wouldn't or never would or anything like that. But um, right now, my focus is on, um, my focus is on doing portraits. But I want y'all, and I, I like to inspire you guys. I want y'all to try, look, that was like a big staircase going right up there, doesn't it? To try, you know, I like to inspire. That's my, you know, thing. I like to get you to go forth and conquer. <laughs> uh. So even if you just, you know, glue and glue something down and spread some paint over it. 
practice your colors, like pick something out of a magazine you like. That's the other thing that I probably could show you as an example for playing and practicing your colors is the magazine journals where you take magazines like now I don't use my nice Somerset Studios but the Somerset Stamping Ten makes you know all other kinds of blog and home decor and um, all different other kinds of uh, magazines so I'll take those and move my lamp here get to them. One moment. I'm going to move my clip-on lamp here. <clears throat> pull out. Oh, I got here. I got like three or four. Let me just pull out two. So these are magazines. I've got two magazines in each one. And I've talked about how to not get let this happen when you... Uh, work in magazine journals um, so that your spine doesn't warp like that but anyway that that being said these are two magazines glued together and these are two magazines glued together and this is a great way to practice uh, let me find a good example here this is a great way to practice blending and colors so what you do what I do and you can turn these into journals that you write in. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave bits of the, and, and depending on what you like, if you're a home deco decor person, if you like gardening, get magazines that have images you like. Or if it's an art magazine, then that's fine, you know, whatever. But what you do is you find the some couple of colors in the images or wherever, and you I call it like reverse collaging. You get rid of everything except what you want to keep. Rather than collaging on top, which you can still do that too, but rather than collaging on top, you're reversing it. You're getting rid of everything you don't want and just keeping certain things. But this is a great way to practice blending um, and, and um, your color, your color theory, and your color skills, your color skills, by picking out a couple colors and then blending them. I say, you know, there's some that are not done here, but then there's tons that are, you know, just all different kinds of same type of thing, but it's like reversing. Uh, let's see this one here. I think this one has more done in it. So like here, I took a travel theme. Okay, um, trying to find some really good examples of where. I'm, okay, here's a good one. All right, so this picture and this picture were here, and I've added a little bit of washi tape. But I all this is paint, my own paint. So what I try to do is use to block out everything I don't want, use colors that work with or are in the piece that you're leaving. I don't know if that's kind of makes sense. Like here's another one. Okay. Okay, here's another one. So I leave different pieces and then I added my own little faux button things and drew my hand there we did that on the show just showing different things you can do with this but what the idea is is to pick something on the page you like and leave it okay leave that and then pick the colors out and this is all just cheap craft paint okay and leave and use the colors in the pieces you want to keep and just scrape and blend and you know baby wipe it in however you want and what you're doing is you're practicing your colors that way. You're practicing how to blend and you're practicing um, you're practicing um, using colors you may not normally use because you're using the colors that are in the image itself. See? So that's why I call it reverse collage, because you're you're uh, 
But anyway, all these are is two magazines. The, the back and the front of, of, of two of them are glued together with Eileen's tacky glue. A lot of, you know, put it thick, blend it out with your fingers so there's not lumpy bumpy. And then I duct tape it together. Now the reason this happens, this is a little sidebar now, the reason this happens is you need to, if you're just going to use one of these journals to play and color and, you know, test out um, different um, ways to do this, you want to work front to back, back to front. Some in the middle, some in the back, some in the front. If you just try to go from straight front to back, this will happen. You'll warp the spine. It'll just, it'll happen automatically. And it's really, you can't really get that out again. I mean, you know, it's just easier to do it that way. So again, that's what these are. And then this just covered with some pretty scrapbook paper, you know. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's just a magazine magazine reverse collage. And I showed you all the big, uh, my skyscraper cityscape book. I won't get that one out again right now because we're getting behind. I still have this much more to show you in this small stack. Okay, I mean small by eight and a half by 11. Okay, these are the eight and a half by 11 uh, ones. And again, I'm just flipping through just to show you, give you some ideas, some inspiration. Okay, here's a few that are more finished. These, I actually, I think some of these, this one I think we did on, um, this one we did on um, a Ustream showing how to sh make it different versions of light. That's what this was. I had to think for a minute. So we used window light, a reflective light, and a, and a uh, different ways to show, make your light bright. So, you know, this was with um, color pencil and some paint and just different ways. It's showing how if you put something really white and stark, it just automatically makes it look bright. Let me take a sip of coffee, guys. But that's what this one was. And some of these are, you now these are from, I think most of these are from 2011. And some of them are on my, if you, on my Ustream slideshow. I need to kind of, I do have a few updated ones, some of my fantasy animals on my Ustream slideshow. When I'm off air, you'll see a uh, slideshow going. And some of these are from 2011 that are still on there. And I have named these. This one was called None is So Blind. <coughs> some of these I did name for the purpose of uh, the slideshow. This one's not, it's just uh, different time periods uh, we, um, we're juxtapositioning past and present or future this one was called some of my other names this one is called still life not still life still dot life so that's one of these well they're not they're not making, what they are, the CB is the, what it is, is a book, okay, let me just, I won't go through it right now because it takes too long, but it's a book of still, uh, it's a book of cityscapes. It was like a tall, thin book. It was on clearance for like, I think, three bucks, 12, about 14 by, 14 by eight, and I, I just did some collage and paint on the front, and then I uh, varnished it front and back. Okay, but there's there. Uh, that's again the reverse collage. You take what's there and you black out or color out whatever you don't want. Okay, this was there. I blacked everything else out. Let me just pick a couple here, like for instance this. So these were already there. This was already here, and I blacked out and, and blued out the sky, everything I did not want. Then you can go from, yes, this is the one with Sean and the fountain. Good grief, you guys. So you can kind of see, you take what's there, and you reverse collage. <laughs> Here's a good example. Now, this one I did get some paint on there, and it kind of smeared. 
um, that shouldn't be there. But I splattered some paint on it when we were showing this at one point. Um, but I wanted to show how you can take cool scenes and get rid of everything and then do something with it. Again, here we go. This was already in the scene, but I took and, and got rid of everything I didn't want. And then you can go back. It's going to flash out. Then you can go back and, and like I added the stars and you can do whatever. So I just wanted to kind of, this one, I won't even get into the Ustream day with this. This was a, that was a day and a half. Let's see what else I got in here. So you can see. You just keep windows, you can keep one little thing, you can keep a lot of something. But look, it's, see, it's all cityscapes. I mean, I could get rid of everything here but that water and that bridge. You know, paint everything else out. Then the water could be shooting out of a, a the space if I wanted it to. Could get rid of all this. You see? Hmm. Where's Sean in the fountain? This one, I did this little, uh, all that was here, okay? This building is the original, and the pigeons are original, and the man is original. Everything else I painted. I painted out the, the uh, courtyard. I put in my own little yellow brick road here, and he's just coming into the scene. I painted out the sky, so... Here's my Sean in the fountain. <laughs> I love this picture of Sean Connery. I have it multiple times. I love my, I love me some Sean Connery. <laughs> and I'll tell again, we put him in the fountain here. See, we cut him out and then just paint it over to make him look like he's sitting on the edge of the fountain. But uh, anyway, this is a, an ad with a Louis Vuitton luggage ad. And he's sitting, I think on a dock, there might be a couple different versions. And he's sitting there with a Louis Vuitton bag, and that's the commercial, I mean, that's the, pay, the magazine ad. Well, um, Hubster came across that ad in a magazine, and Boo was here. And so he said, come here, Boo, look, your Nana loves this. Your Nana loves this page, the loves this ad, or loves this, I forget, I think he just said loves this. So she comes running up to him, what, what? So she looked at it, she goes, oh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> she was all about the Louis Vuitton. But no, she, no, no, he, she likes him. She goes, oh, like, you know, I don't know why she'd like him. There's a Louis Vuitton bag sitting there. <laughs> I know, I love that boo story. So anyway, I got a couple more, like here. And you can varnish them when you're done. This one, um, I took a couple, I did add, I think I added this, but this was, we did this one, I think was fire and water, or fire and ice, I forgot what I called this one. Anyway, so I'm going to stop with this book now, but I wanted to show you that's another version of um, reverse collage. Take a book that is something that appeals to you, like these have cityscapes or whatever you get on clearance, get a $3 book. And, and you can either, this is just totally blacked and colored out, or you could do like my magazine journals and practice with blending different colors, picking colors out, and playing with that. Okay. All right. So let's finish up this stack here. And like I said, some of these are more finished than others. You know, I know, I love the boo story. So, trying to get through this kind of quick. I still got a lot of them. Well, not as many. These are more, like, say, the next stage from some of the ones that you saw just things glued down. This has got a start of color to them. They're not finished, but there's a start of color to them. This one's more blended. See how I started blending this one? Started turning this one into a story. Right there. A 
again, this is started, but it's not done. See how that's not completely blended in yet? But these are further along than some of the others. But again, take your little viewfinder and make your way around. I know it's a lot guys but there's you know like I said I just thought well I'll go ahead and do a flip while I have them all separated from these are not you know the in journals so they're like you know pages so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, uh, show them to you while they were in like this But they could be finished. You know, I mean, I could finish them or just use parts of them or not. these. You can take bits of landscape and turn it into more landscapes. See? This all can be blended out to look like, I mean that looks like a crash site right there. <laughs> I love science fiction and fantasy. I don't, let me put, let me restate that. I love something to read science fiction, but I've always liked the old science fiction. I mean like the 50s, 60s, old science fiction. I always, you know, I grew up reading that. Uh, fantasy, when it turns into, I don't know, um, how do I, uh, animals talking to people. I mean, I love doing my fantasy animals, but I don't enjoy reading that kind of stuff. It's just not like, I like the real hard sci-fi. I'm doing um, different journal, uh, singled out pages of journal pages and showing you how to isolate them and use them in different ways. Okay, I really liked this one. I forgot where I was going with it, but I got like the little solar system up there with the owl. I just see so much in this. I hope y'all do too. <laughs> I mean, I hope that, you know, even though they're not finished, you can, you can see things in them. This one was this angel that was in a, uh, oh, what's the name? Uh, not Tiffany, um, William Morris. A William Morris angel. And then pretty much we painted everything else, except the watch right there. But we painted all the different 
little seam there. Again. And I'm also showing shab, uh, shabs, or shady, sorry, uh, how to take a, a viewfinder and re-look at all your work and see what else you can see and photograph sections and turn it into other things. Okay, does this one have, no, I didn't title this one either. This one did in 2013. Just, who are you talking about? Oh, thanks, Susan. That's a nice thing. Hearing, Susan said, just hearing me talk my ideas out, you get a new view. <laughs> oh. This one we did a painting. We st well, I did. I guess I didn't finish it. We we started a painting uh, based on this collage. Here's the back side of this one. See her handbag. We turned a half of a watch into her handbag. I don't know what kind of handbag she had, but we got rid of it. <laughs> a lot of these were done on Ustream. I wish, you know, back then, if, I would, if we would have known that we wouldn't have had most, as much, you know, limited storage on Ustream, would have uploaded more uh, quicker to YouTube. Because I haven't been uploading to YouTube very long. It's been like nine months or something like that that I've only been uploading to YouTube. Thank you, Jean, <laughs> for making me. Um, but, you know, uh, a lot of us have been streaming, you know, four or five years. These are more, you know, they're not completed completed because I don't have water clouds, stars, or any of those uh, accoutrements I like to add in my collage. So these have just been painted and blended, but they're not like completely finished. Thanks, Kate. We've been at it for two, uh, at least two hours, and I haven't even got to the large ones yet. I think this may be all we're going to do today because <laughs> I'm already, I'm not, you know, we're two hours and 20 minutes into the stream and um, when this stream ends, I can come back and maybe do something else, but I didn't, I wanted to try to get the whole flip in one stream. So we'll see. I need to kind of pick up the pace, I think. I need to pick up the pace. This one's done on a uh, board. This one was from 2013 as well. So that one I've even varnished. Okay, let's see what else we have here. These are a few more from 2013. These are more finished. Some of these might even be on my, uh, what do you call it, a uh, slideshow. I'm not sure. This one I call fluidity. That's, what's, that's what I have on the back. Some, some I named. Let's see, did I name this one? Pins and Needles. This one, well, I think this one was on my uh, screen scroll, but uh, this one's called Pins and Needles. Look. Pins and Needles. This one I did for uh, um, St. Patrick's Day, I think. 
I did a uh, green St. Patrick's Day. All the water is just, this is painted. You paint, painted all that in there. There's my, it was a St. Patrick's Day one. What else? Let's see, this one was called Spring Forward. I don't always tell everybody the names of all my pieces. Sometimes I do. This one was called Me and My Shadow. So that one's done. If I have a title on the back, I consider it done. But that doesn't mean I can't reuse some of this, you know, into other pieces. This one's not done, but it's coming, you know, it came along pretty well. See how I put the watches under water there? This one I just played with their face. Uh, it was like, without using any kind of Photoshop, what could we do to make her look like she was captured in time? So it just kind of like, <laughs> anyway. And then just another something on the back there. So just playing with some different images. Again, playing with some images. I'm, I'm getting down to the bottom of this stack. Now these are just, again, bits of collage. Bits of collage. Here's another. I made her in. I like to freeze, freeze them in time. This one, I think I did a, a, a sent a copy of this to Darcy UK. I think I think this is the one I sent to Darcy UK. I don't know if this is something different. Then here's another bit of uh, my muse. There's my muse, Mona. Or was this the one I sent to Darcy UK? This one might have been it. I don't remember. I sent her a print of one of them. Another... Hey Dana. That's just a piece of scrapbook paper there. down to the small these smaller ones and almost done with the smaller ones if I'm quick I can probably do the large stack oh wait you know what I don't think I will I think maybe I'll do a part two guys and that way maybe I can do some you know collage for you guys but I, I'm not gonna the other stack is is probably as big as this stack <laughs> and this stack's taken me two hours to get through so I guess I will have to start, uh, I will have to start a second recording. I love this one. I love this. It's not done, but I love that. That's an oyster shell. That's a close-up of an oyster shell encircled with, I think, some kind of a jewel. I'm not sure. And then right there's the watch in the center. I love this. like you know like a nebula okay. this one this one is from 2011 and this one it, it, if it's not still it was on my um, slideshow city on a hill that's what that one's called
another one where I painted out her hair. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a question. You should make a painting of that one, the oyster shell one. Yeah, I should, Vicki. Again, just more. Paint it out. I didn't title this one, but... This is like a big piece of jewelry out of a magazine. Different stages, different stages, different stages. I also love this one. I have a print of this one. Again, these two went like that. But you can find all different kinds. If you turn it different ways, you can see all kinds of scenery in there. Look. See, just think of a just look at think of that as mountains and hills and roads and maybe a waterfall. A little bit of a building there. I mean, just look at all the possibilities just from this one little bit. Or another little painted section. Like, let's go this way. Remember, turn them upside down, right side up. Okay, we're down to the last couple ones here. Again, let's pick out some areas. It could go that way, or it could go that way. See all the things you can find in your own work if you look? <laughs> oh, just painty, scrapey paint, and you can find whole little things in there. I think I'm going to pull that out. That would be a good one for an example. And, uh, oh, look, a piece of a stencil. No, Paula, I did not glue that on there. But it looked, it looked like it could be. Should we glue that on? <laughs> Paula, we're going to glue the crusty leftover stencils on. Anyway. <laughs> so you can see how you can just find all kinds of little stuff in your work. That one's not done. See, it's, when you see the torn edges and the white edges, that's not blended in yet. Okay, a little bit of something. I don't know what that was doing there. All right, so that is all in this stack. I will go ahead and stop, and let me go ahead and reboot my computer, too, so that I don't get, like, herky-jerky, you know, uh, on, on Ustream. So we just went through uh, this much. Um, these are the 8.5 by 11 um ones. Now I've got a stack, not quite this thick, but almost, of a 12 by 12 and up. 11 by 14, you know, 14 by 17, maybe a few of those. But I'm not going to be able to get through that in the time, because Ustream only gives us a you know, minimum or maximum of three hours at a time, and sometimes it's like two hours and 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm going to reboot my computer, get some fresh hot coffee, and I will be back to go through the other stack, and then if we have time, maybe um, do some collaging. So I just have some of this here to show you. I, I made two of each. Again, this is what I'm kind of emphasizing today. Taking a piece of your artwork, isolating a section that you like, photographing it, and then making something out of that. And all I really did here, I enlarged it, sharpened it, and changed the color. And that's it.
from that to that. And it is printed on Epson matte presentation paper, which makes the colors just vibrant. So, and then the other one that I did off of this was from this little corner down here. From that to this. Okay. So just think about reusing parts of your art journals. And it could be even smaller than that. I mean, you know, take your viewfinder and just kind of, you know, go around and look and see. Well, you all saw me do that, you know, for the last two hours. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Give me about 10 minutes. I'm, I'll leave, chat will be open still, but when I come back, you'll probably have to refresh to get the video back, okay? So I'm going to save this video, take about a 10 minute break, um, and come back and show you the other stack. Oh, thanks Shabs. Thanks everybody for being here. Hey Dana. Yeah, um, if I kind of rush through the other stack, I'll, I'll have time to do, because I am out of collage cards to mail out, my art cards. So, um, I mean, I've got tons of, you know, ones, trays of ones that are in different starter, but I like to, you know, do a few that are completed so I have some to send out. All right, so I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Look at my new fingernail polish. It's, it's um, mint green, minty green. <laughs> All right, guys, so give me about 10 minutes, and um, y'all can stay and chat if you want. Chat will still be open, um, and, you know, I'll be back in a few minutes. So thanks, guys, for watching this uh, journal flip, and uh, we'll be back shortly.